Hello, my name is Sander, and welcome back to another video about the inventory mass asset. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a hotbar. You go to the master system and create a hotbar. And when you click on it, uh, you have to change the anchor points. Um, I like this on more uh, a hotbar more on the bottom side. Uh, then you press Alt and um, yeah, press on the anchor point where you want to have it. Uh, be sure that the tooltips underneath the hotbar are underneath every uh, inventory. And um, people also like it, uh, like the hotbar on the left side, like this here. I'm going to show you this now. Wait. Like this, you can change the, the anchor point now, and you got this on the left side now. But I'm more li I like uh, this on the on the bottom side, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna create change this now. Okay, uh, when we've done this, you have the same settings like uh, the normal inventory setting settings as well. There are just some um, settings which are not dis uh, enabled, so uh, they're still stacking. And I'm gonna create this as, as well for 2.14. And let me go deeper now for the hotbar script. You see, there are also um, there's every slot, and you can define a key code for every slot, so that you can define um, uh, for slot one there is the key code one, and uh, then the item is getting consumed. And now I'm gonna sh also change the design of it because actually I have graphics for it, and every graphic which you uh, which I show here is also in the packet, so. Uh, can use them for free. And let me just change uh, the slot design as well. Slot and now a bit more padding. I don't like this when the border uh, has no real padding. Um, top. So okay, this is nice. Okay, what you have, uh, what we have to do is now, uh, you see that the graphic is not maybe perfectly because we changed the padding. So maybe click again uh, on the anchor points and make the same thing because actually the graphics is now more on the top side. So uh, it's now perfectly. Okay, uh, the next thing which we have, to, which we have to do, uh, you have a main inventory. You have to declare this with ticking this box. So the character has a mm, backpack and this has to be declared. I'm going to show you uh, what happens when you do not do this. I'm going to activate this now here and I drag this. You get to see there are two null pointer exceptions. Um, if you do not do this, um, yeah, the error occurs. And what you have to do is just tick this on and you see the, um, the main inventory is getting tagged. And when you have done this and open the equipment system and the inventory itself, you see we, I can show you how this works now. Um, when I drop this item now, there's a duplication is getting created, and when I drag this out, you see uh, the duplication is getting deleted. Actually, this hotbar is only a, sm a help for uh, consuming items pretty fast for the player. It's not in a backpack uh, like this inventory. It's only um, a help for the player. So actually, this item is still in the uh, the inventory. And uh, it's only for fast uh, consuming, and uh, this is why I duplicate the in item which is in the hotbar in the backpack. So uh, we do this now as well, and I'm gonna show you how this works now with the uh, equipment system. When I press one now, you see the uh, chest is getting p placed in the right slot, and uh, you see the duplication and uh, the item in the um, hotbar disappears. And when I do this with the second one, you see uh, the next slot is uh, getting placed. And when I do this now with the third one, it's getting replaced, and the the item which was in this uh, slot is getting placed here in the hotbar, and also a duplication is getting created. So you also can uh, you also can split the item here now, uh, but I cannot show you this w with a consuming item actually because I do not have the um, I don't have a send message in it. Uh, I hope you liked it, and yeah, see you later. Bye bye.